Hi, it's Carrie. I'm the Research Impact and Health Professions Librarian at the Cook Library. In this video, I'm going to talk about ORCID, or Open Researcher and Contributor ID. ORCID is a global not-for-profit organization sustained by fees from member organizations. Their mission is to, quote, enable transparent and trustworthy connections between researchers, their contributions, and their affiliations by providing a unique, persistent identifier for individuals to use as they engage in research, scholarship, and innovation activities, end quote. ORCID offers researchers a 16-digit digital identifier that links you to your research. You'll be able to use the same ID throughout your career, even if you change your name or move to another organization. In 2020, ORCID became a requirement for individuals supported by research training, fellowship, research education, and career development grants. I'll put a link to this page in the video description below so that you can get more information. You may have also noticed small green circles next to author names in some scholarly publications. This indicates that a researcher has an ORCID profile. You can access their profile to learn more about their work. On the ORCID homepage, which is orcid.org, O-R-C-I-D dot org, you can find out more about ORCID, read about ORCID for researchers, read their documentation, and access other resources for researchers, for members, for developers, and for consortia. You can also follow their news and events and sign up for updates. If you don't have an ORCID, you can sign up and register. Choose Register Now if you have not yet signed up for ORCID or sign in with your existing credentials. Once you have established your profile, you can preview your public record, add and edit emails, websites and socials, other researcher profile IDs, add keywords related to your research interests, and add the country where you reside. You'll also be able to add and edit your name, bio, employment, education and qualifications, invited positions and distinctions, membership and service, funding, and your research works. Notice that you can set any one item to public, trusted parties, or private. Under Add Works, you can search and link with trusted third-party systems like Scopus and the Lens. You can add a Digital Object Identifier, or DOI, a PubMed ID, or PMID, a BibTeX record, or you can add manually. Once you're done, you can use your public record link on your CV, in your manuscript submissions, on your LinkedIn profile, in grant applications, and more. Don't forget to follow ORCID on Twitter at ORCID underscore org or at US Consortium. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Cook Library YouTube channel.